Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at the sixth EMEA Summit for uh, Wise Media in Abu Dhabi. I'm joined by Felix Dobro Dobrovolskis. Yes, that's right, Dobrovolskis. From, um, from, from, from Lithuania. Lithuania, yes. Lithuania. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, you're going to be presenting tomorrow, I believe? Yes, I'm going at, at yeah. 11 a.m. Uh, on the topic of a um, e signature. Uh, my topic, uh, I'm going to focus on, 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 on a mobile signature solution mm -hmm. and okay. mobile payment system. Okay, so that's a system that you've developed in uh, Lithuania uh, as, as part of the government a, authority that you work for? Uh, no, it's, it's a private solution okay. uh, based on some private uh, initiative and, and uh, why I'm going to talk uh, about this. Uh, is because, uh, for example, mobile penetration rate is uh, uh, more than 100 percent. It right. sounds tricky, but <laughs> anyway, anyway, and, and everybody can use it, can use a mobile phone as a, a identification media or, or to sign uh, sign some documents mm -hmm. uh, in electronic environment. Well, and and uh, uh, that solution is, is not a like a um, uh, competitor to, to the existing systems of electronic signature. It's just uh, some uh, supplement, okay. I would say supplement, because it's, it's extension of uh, opportunities to, to use e-signature right. as such. Okay. So, so what do you, the, the signature is done, is it using a biometric on a smartphone? Or? Uh, first of all, you, you have to have uh, the specially designed uh, SIM card. Okay. So based on SIM card, and identification of a person uh, is necessary before issuing that SIM card. Okay. And mobile operators are obliged to to, 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 to So then the SIM card would be yes, issued uh, in the same way as a reader document or a passport. Okay. That's right. Of course, there are some limitations. For example, uh, you have to have connection. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, network. It's necessary to, to be in your area of coverage. Yeah. First, second, you have to have a mobile uh, internet connection, mm -hmm. and you have uh, two additional, uh, I would say, servers or, or, or additional players uh, between uh, your mobile phone and sign it and, and, and uh, your computer screen, for example. Okay. So it's a mobile operator and, and yeah. an e-signature provider. Okay, and what, what additional potential will this give the user? What will they be able to do with it? You can, you can, uh, it's, it's widely used uh, in banking systems for mm -hmm. identifications or, or for signing transactions. Okay. You can, you can uh, uh, manage your account, uh, your, your bills uh, via mobile phone. You need to have uh, only internet and mobile signature infrastructure yeah. installed into, into phone. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes a trusted, yeah. uh, a trusted signature. And it's interesting that it's been developed. It's, it's a Lithuanian company that's developed uh, the technology. E no, e-signature, uh, mobile signature platform is based in Estonia, okay. Estonian country. But uh, mobile operators of Lithuania. They are used that infrastructure yeah. to provide uh, additional services for customers. Okay. As, as additional service to, to, to be more attractive yeah. uh, for customers because competition in mobile mm -hmm. markets is quite strong. Okay. And from Lithuania, Estonia, that whole region, we're seeing more yeah, and more creative yeah. use of, yeah. of ID and technology. Why do you think that is? Uh, first of all, uh, Lithuania and Estonia, we are European Union countries. According to European Union law, uh, we we have to trust uh, trust the services uh, uh, if the services are trusted in in, in, in other country of yeah. European Union and the Estonians they have such system and uh, we use that infrastructure as as more suitable. Okay, but it's not necessary to use that system. Okay, so it's an open mm -hmm. an open system that can work anywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Felix, thanks very much for talking to Thank me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. Good luck with your presentation and I hope you enjoy the event.